What's good, YouTube? This is Antayami here, and I'm currently looking at the 2015 Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list for OCG in OCG land, which is awesome. Um, I've been appointed to this by one of my friends to show me, or he was talking to me about the ban list, which I currently not kept up with Yu-Gi-Oh! So I forgot all about a ban list coming up this, you know, the first of the year. So, hey, New Year's Revolutions, new decks. So, this is like my first time viewing it, but maybe, I guess, my second time exposed to it. One by verbal and second just now. So, I would like to look into it and dissect it a little bit more. So, for the forbidden cards, there are no cards that are banned or forbidden, which is kind of cool. Um, here's what's interesting. What's limited is Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, which is... By, uh, I guess it's not much of a shock. Uh, I don't know how big that card is going to make a big impact on the game. Um, but obviously, Cash of Dolls could obviously use it now because of you know BLS was using the deck. Any deck that has BLS in the deck in the deck will now run two basically two boss chaos monsters, which is extension on that because they wasn't really doing too much. So I guess that's okay. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to affect anything. Now here's something. This is like my favorite card off the balance, which is Sinister Serpent. Um, card, basically one star, 300 attack. It basically, when it is in the graveyard, standby phase, add it back to your hand. <clears throat> now why this card is, in my opinion, like one of my favorite cards to come back, because it's a plus one each turn, which is very strong. Um, and it's also great for a discard cost. So cards like Fitness Wind Blast, Karma Cut, One for One, things of that nature will instantly, it's, it's almost like pitching an E-Dragon, but Sinister Serpent is not as good as an E-Dragon in that sense, because it's not a giant beast stick, or you can, can't overlay into like a really good XYZ. But the fact that any that can use, especially Marmels, because of Megalo, and you know, something that gives them a little bit of a boost, because they do need that discard outlet. And for them to have, always have one guaranteed once per turn, which is super amazing. So I'm so glad to see that card off. That's really exciting. Heavy bombing, heavy bombing, bird bomb, whatever. We get it. Um, card for the Harpies um, FTK. Is that one? Uh, Sinju and Manju, obviously for the um, their claws, because they're really strong, apparently. And, of course, the Unicorn got hit, because Unicorn is part of the new claws, which is really good. I'm not sure what that one does. Insta Fusion with the one, interesting. Temple of the Kings. Now, that's interesting. Well, I mean, it doesn't do anything. I think that's the card. That card used to be banned. I'm not sure what it, exactly it does without the other monster, but playing traps from your hand, I think that's what it does. It's pretty strong. Um, preparation of the rituals. Preparation for the rituals. I mean, yeah, rituals are strong. Symbol of heritage, because of long fire. I know long fire went to three, so that's the reason why that card is going to one. Because you can summon Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, and basically just Monster Reborn for another Lone Fire, which is really strong. Uh, Super Poly finally got hit. It needed to get hit, so finally got hit. Got hit over here in TCG. Harpy Feather Duster, shocking. Harpies can search that card. Exchange of the Spirits. Now, this is the reason why I started playing Yu Gi Oh! The card was so pretty, and it was like one of my first rare cards I ever got in the game. And the fact that that's off the band was that's kind of interesting. Um, crush card, virus. Again, I hate virus cards, so I think they all should be banned. But taking this off the list makes that just seems dumb. You can lock your opponent out by it's just it's too strong. Um, Ring of Destruction. Again, very shocking. This is a really explosive bringing everything back to one ban list. Like, this is a it opened so many doors and so many different opportunities and stuff. It's really, really, really funny. Now, since we're in destruction back, there's going to be more games that are ends in a draw, which sucks. It's going to happen. Especially, I feel like in Quill Force, when they pay 800, 800, and they play 1,000 for Skill Dream, and then they got these big beaters. I mean, Ring Destruction is going to blow them out. So, something interesting there. It's semi limited. Exactly, Hornet. Insectors have not been doing anything for the past format and a half. Good to see them get some support. Um, Dragon Rider of the Sea Serpent. Or Sea Emperor. I'm sorry. That might be... Oh, yes. Yeah, um, the guy from the Mermails. The one that searches. Which is fine. Very good. Nothing harming that. I feel like Big Eye to two. Weird. I feel like if you would hit Big Eye, put it at one. But two is fine. 
Um, who is that? Is that um? I have no idea who that is. The steadfast flame star. If I had to guess, I feel like that's um. I have no idea. It's chicken, I believe. Chicken was going into two over here in Monster Against the Two. All right, and it was no longer limited. It's Evil Swan Ophion, which I feel like should never been hit. Um, Nebula Disc, we don't own that card. Card Trooper at, at three is pretty big. Uh, Tech Genius um, Striker or TG Striker, it's pretty cool. Chigodi at three, weird. Street Long Fire, I didn't think that was going to come, but since the card went to one, it's fine. Herxil of the Gathering, I guess. Dragons. Uh, Hero Lives at three is cool, I guess. And then a, a Drama Trio is at three. So this is the ban list right now, and um, yeah, just leave comments below to see what you guys think about this ban list. I think it's really fun. I think it opens more fun back to the game, if you know what I mean. Like, it's going to be a lot more things to watch out for, and um, all these good banned cards that were banned before are now off the list. So I'm looking forward to see how this is going to shape our format now, because it's going to be really interesting. You see our balance now looking at this one, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as big as J Japan's list, but who knows? It can be. But um, definitely leave a guy in the comment below, and thanks for watching. All right. See you guys later. Bye.